hallowed be your name on earth as in heaven. Kia tapu tu ingoa, ki runga ki te whenua, ki a rite anō ki tō te rangi. Always be joyful, pray continually, give thanks whatever happens. Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on Monday, our gospel reflection. Hear Jesus' words. When you do a kindness, hide from your left hand what your right is doing. Your good deed must be secret. When you pray, pray privately alone. When you fast, don't make a show of it, don't do it to be seen. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Would any of you who are parents give your child a wetter when asked for a fish? Bad as you are, you know how to give good gifts to your children. How much more will the Heavenly Father give to those who ask? Believe what Jesus says. God is generous. God is good. Etifano, let us love one another because love is from God. We love because God loved us first. And everyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. If we do not love the people we have seen, it cannot be that we love God whom we have not seen. God is love. Those who dwell in love are dwelling in God and God in them. Our reading today is taken from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 9, beginning at verse 18. A girl restored to life and a woman healed. While he was saying these things to them, Suddenly, a leader of the synagogue came in and knelt before him, saying, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. And Jesus got up and followed him with his disciples. Then suddenly, a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his cloak, for she said to herself, if only I touch his cloak, I will be made well. Jesus turned, and seeing her, he said, Take heart, daughter, your faith has made you well. And instantly the woman was made well. When Jesus came to the leader's house and saw the flute players and the crowd making a commotion, he said, Go away, for the girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. But when the crowd had been put outside, he went in and took her by the hand, and the girl got up. And the report of this spread throughout that district. As Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, crying loudly, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he entered the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be done to you. And their eyes were opened. And Jesus sternly ordered them, See that no one knows of this. But they went away and spread the news about him throughout that district. After they had gone away, a demoniac who was mute was brought to him. And when the demon had been cast out, the one who had been mute spoke, and the crowds were amazed and said, Never has anything like this been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, By the ruler of the demons he casts out the demons. We bring our whole selves to God now to pray on behalf of the church and the world, giving thanks for his goodness. We pray to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, our risen and ascended Lord, that he would intercede on our behalf for the needs of the world. Father, we're mindful that so many are desperate to hear the good news of Jesus. We hear of wars, 
climate change, refugee crises, rising prices of food and power and homelessness. So much out of our control. So we pray for our world leaders, those who uh, make decisions to affect the best way forward for the environment and for the world's governance. We pray asking for your help, for our selfishness and pride, for our lack of agreement and our propensity to blame others. Would you raise up leaders with a heart for all people so that we may live without fear? We pray particularly for those without a home this day, for the dispossessed and the addicted. We pray for our neighbours in this district and for their welfare, seeking your blessing upon them. May the Holy Spirit and Christ the King come into our lives and bring us your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the church that we may be enlivened for the mission to which you call us. For our bishop, for all those who serve and minister in leadership, for our wardens, and our vestry. We pray for all who preach the gospel and those who extend the love of Christ to others. Would you strengthen us? Help us to pray for those who've hurt us that we need to forgive. Forgive us our neglect of others. And may this new week mark for us a beginning, a fresh start, Help us to be built up into the body of Christ and so honour you in our love and action for each other. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves and all those we love, for our Fano, our neighbours, and ask for your protection and healing over all that troubles us. For the sick in body, mind or spirit, for those who lack unity, who have division within their homes, would you bring your wholeness and your healing, your comfort and your light. Help us to value the most important thing, loving you and loving one another. All things are possible for you, so we pray for reconciliation this day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we thank you that you loved us so much that you sent your Son into our lives to bring us to eternal life and to freedom and joy in you. Pour out your Holy Spirit afresh into our hearts this week so that we may never go hungry or thirsty or separated from you, and so that we may spill over your life to those whom we meet today. Our Father, hallowed be your name on earth as in heaven. Et omato matua, ki tapu to ingua, ki runga ki te whenua, ki arite ano ki tō te rangi. Holy One, holy and eternal, awesome, exciting and delightful in your holiness. Make us pure in heart to see you. Make us merciful to receive your kindness and to share your love with all our human family. Then will your name be hallowed on earth as in heaven. God of work and rest and pleasure, grant that what we do this week may be for us an offering rather than a burden and for those we serve, may it be the help they need. Amen. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer. I pray God's blessings on you and your whānau for the week ahead. Go well. <laughs>